Okay, we're back with you. Apologize for that. 3.58 to go here in the opening quarter. Valley is a 6-4 to four lead. We missed you there for a few minutes. Hallie Sherman has four points in the game. Jordan Rudd with two. Carly Tatalini and Cashlin Tatalini have two apiece here for the B-Diggers. As we played nearly midway through the opening quarter, B-Diggers starting lineup tonight brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan, as we mentioned earlier. Mobile banking on the go makes banking easier for you when you're on the go at Equitable Savings and Loan. Starters for brush tonight, Kenzie Krejci. Along with Carly Tatalini, Cashlin Tatalini, Alexis Corral, and Brooke Rule. And the inbounds pass. Krejci in the right corner to Langford. Langford kicks it back out to Emma Stone in the game. Then her pass to the top is intercepted. And then the ball batted from behind, taken by Sherman. Now into the paint all the way. Now that ball is loose underneath the basket. And there's going to be a traveling violation on Valley as the teams exchange turnovers. So here we come with the bead diggers the other way. Six to four in favor of Valley. Two buckets by Hallie Sherman, one by Jordan Rudd. Tatalini, both Carly and Cashin with buckets. Emma Stone at the free throw line. Lob down low for Bailey Link. She's going to kick it back out. Langford, 15 footer off the back of the rim. And the ball is rebounded there by Hallie Sherman of Valley. She's got three rebounds and four points on the outlet to Marcella Carvajal. Carvajal with 319 to go in the first on the outside left to Rudd. Rudd with a basketball. Over to Carvajal, guarded by Stone. Swings it right side for Savolt. In the right corner, Michaela Kistler, the leading scorer for this team this season. Now to Carvajal, straight away. Here is Rudd, down low for Sherman all the way. She puts it up and in off the glass. Hallie Sherman now with six points. And the lead for Valley is 8-4, to 2.56 to go in the first. Lankford forces a pass. I'm not sure what she was doing there. they got to see that better. Not a good pass by Keeley, throwing it at all types of traffic. And it went through everybody out of bounds. That's where the B-Diggers are just forcing turnovers, and that's going to get Brooke Rule back into the game for Keeley Langford. The B-Diggers have committed four turnovers, as has Valley. Jordan Rudd to throw it into the backcourt. Rudd looking. Lobs it tipped out of bounds by Kenzie Krejci, intended for Kistler into the Valley bench. And along the side, the Vikings to throw it in. And there's the lob in the backcourt. Over to Hallie Sherman, now to Carvajal. Carvajal on the outside left, spinning on Emma Stone. Carvajal kicks it back out on the outside left. Here in the corner now is Sherman. Back on the high left to Carvajal, guarded by Stone. Down low to Sherman, back out to Carvajal. Nice ball movement by Valley, up by four. Two and a half to go here in the opening quarter. Right corner for Kistler. Back out, and then that pass is taken away by Stone temporarily, but now Savolt has it on the high right. Right corner for Michaela Kistler. Overhead pass is taken by Carvajal. Valley taking their time. Kistler wide open in the corner. Doesn't take it. Back out. The bounce pass is poked away by Kenzie Krejci. Fifth turnover for Valley. Krejci to Emma Stone. Puts up a shot high off the glass. Misses. Krejci goes up and scores. Kenzie Krejci has the first points for her in this game. It is to 8-6. Two minutes to go in the opening quarter. And Valley with the lead. In the backcourt, Carvajal's pass is tipped out of bounds by Corral. Yeah, for the first time this season, Valley is allowing visiting fans. Still a light crowd, as you can imagine. The backcourt pass, and Emma Stone commits a foul. The B-Diggers have committed three fouls in the backcourt. They're being extremely aggressive defensively, and that's going to be the third team foul. Valley's committed one, and Stone is out. And back of the game is Carly Tatalini with a minute 55 to go first quarter, and Valley with an 8-6 advantage. Jordan Rudd to trigger it, and overhead soccer pass is taken in the backcourt by Hallie Sherman. Stripped away, and then we've got the ball that was lost by Rule out of bounds. The teams exchanged turnovers. That looked like that was going to be an easy bucket. And the inbounds pass in the backcourt to Savolt. Savolt left-handed dribble, poke from behind, but she's got it back. Now to Carvajal. Across the timeline, Carvajal at the top, guarded by Rule. On the high left to Savolt. In the left corner, that pass is taken by Sherman. Now to Carvajal, double team, straight away to Jordan Rudd. On the high right, that's Savolt with the basketball. Kicks it back out. Now on the outside left to Carvajal, 127 to go. First quarter, Valley 8, brush 6. On the outside right, Savolt lobs it right corner for Kistler, guarded by Corral. Bounce pass back out to Jordan Rudd. Tatalini's right there. Overhead pass left baseline to Savolt. And there's going to be a foul on Bailey Link. 
Boy, that was very, very ticky-tack. That didn't look like much contact over there. And she's out, and Keeley Langford is back in. 74 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Valley 8, brush 6. And to trigger it in his rod. Into the paint to Sherman. Takes a dribble, and, oh, they're going to call another foul. Wow. Wow, I didn't see that either. Well, it's another touch foul. And I'm not sure who committed that. Still not on the board. That's going to be the fifth team foul. And now we have a traveling violation out of bounds. The foul is on Langford. Seven turnovers against Valley. The Bee Diggers have five in the game. Here's Corral the other way on the outside right. Corral lobs it towards the right corner to Brooke Rule. Rule overhead pass straight away. Langford takes the three. Bingo! They're going to call it a two. Apparently her right foot was on the line. And we're deadlocked at eight. 55 seconds to go. A steal by Brooke Rule. Then she has her shot blocked. Taken away there by Michaela Kissler. But the Bee Diggers did force another turnover. And here comes Valley the other way into the front court. Kissler just crossed the timeline with about less than a second to go on the 10-second clock. 36 seconds to go. Lob left baseline for Rudd. Back straight away to Savolt. No substitution so far for Valley. And Corral got elbowed. Offensive foul. Offensive foul on Jordan Savolt. And that also goes as a turnover. That'll be Valley's ninth unofficially. 29.3 seconds to go in the opening quarter. There's a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll keep it right here. Brought to you by Greg Mullen at State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, Greg Mullen and his team are there to make the insurance world easy for you. 842-4555. The Bee Diggers in their last game, very impressive on Saturday, beating up Strasburg 54-18. And this Valley team also beat Strasburg, but that was a 14-point victory, which could define the difference between these two teams. As we have 29.3 ticks to go in the first. And tied at eight. And so far, Hallie Sherman has six of the eight points for Valley. Krejci, Langford, and both Tatalinis have scored buckets for Brush. Let's set the lineup for the Bee Diggers. It is Langford. It's going to be, oh, a technical foul against Valley. That's going to be two free throws here for Brooke Rule. So she can get on the board. And this first one is around and off to the right. Second free throws upcoming. It's Carly Tatalini, Kenzie Craig, Keeley Langford, Alexis Corral, and Brooke Rule's second free throw is a brick off the back of the rim. The Bee Diggers do retain possession off the technical, and Kenzie Craig to throw it in. The first bucket of the game was scored by Carly Tatalini, brought to you by Western Engineering Consultants. Engineering and consulting services for all of your projects all the way. Scoring off the glasses. Kenzie Krejci down the lane. It's 10 to 8 bead diggers. Nine seconds to go in the first. And Carvajal stripped at midcourt. And now she's flat on her back. And she gets it over down low here to Sherman. Sherman against Krejci. And that's a traveling violation. Turnover number 10. And they'll have to get it off. And Brooke Rule's not aware of the clock at all. Not aware of the clock, and that's the end of the opening quarter. With the score, Brush 10, Valley 8. It's a one-minute break on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back with you. Brooke Rule hits a shot. Little seven-footer on the right baseline. Rule now has scored for the first time in the game. The B-Diggers lead 10-8. They were up 10-8 after one. It's 12-8, I should say. Across midcourt is Savolt over to Carvajal. Picked up by Brooke Rule in the high right. 30 seconds into the second. There's the bounce pass down low. Turning now free throw. 15-footer. The free throw line extended. And it's missed by Rudd. But now to Carvajal. And then she has her shot block take, taken by Sherman. And then the overhead pass is out of bounds. Intended for Bailey Miller. Turnover number 11. It'll be B-Digger basketball up 12 to 8. And here comes Cashlin Tatalini the other way. Cross court to Rule. Rule with a basketball. Swings it back out to Carly. Bounce pass down low for Krejci. Over to Brooke Rule behind the three-point line. Right baseline here is 
Cashlin Tatalini down low for Corral all the way. Banks and misses a little bit short. And the rebound to Carvajal, her third for Valley. The B-Diggers are on a 6-0 run. Here is Carvajal, right baseline. She's cut off by Corral. She's got to look for a teammate. Does straight away to Rudd. Now on the left wing, here is Bailey Miller. Back out to Rudd. Very thin bench here for the Valley Vikings. Jordan Savolt. Bounce pass is going to be tipped away, and it's intercepted by Carly Tatalini. All the way, she banks, misses. She gets the rebound, and boy, she's tackled. Yeah, that is a foul on somebody. There were two Valley Vikings there committing the foul. Hallie Sherman commits her first. Langford is back in for Carly Tatalini. Crates to throw it in. Lobs it near the timeline. It's chased down by Rule. Rule on the high right behind the three-point line over to Corral on the left wing to Langford. Now in the left corner, Cash and Tatalini picks up the dribble. Now to Langford in front of the Valley bench. Cross-court pass to Corral behind the three-point line. Takes the three. Well short. And the ball is loose, and it's taken away by Bailey Miller. The other way, here comes Valley. Here's Savolt spinning in the lane, shooting and missing an air ball, but it's going to be a foul. The B-Digger fouls on Cashlin Tatalini. And that'll be her first two free throws for Jordan Savolt. The B-Digger still on a 6-0 run. And the free throw is in. Brush 12, Valley 7, even six minutes to go. Second quarter. Your friendly local community bank serving Wiggins and all surrounding areas, High Plains Bank. At highplainsbank.com, second free throws off to the right. And the rebound to Kenzie Krejci of Brush. The B-Diggers want to run. And the pass towards the left baseline. We're going to have a foul. The ball is going towards Tatalini, but bodies go flying, and Cashlin Tatalini is going to commit the foul. That will also be a turnover on the B-Diggers. That's going to be her second. Yeah, a little bit of a sloppy game. 17 foul, so we're going on the other end here. And Marcella Carvajal will shoot the one and one. Yeah, very sloppy so far with a free throw upcoming. That's off the back of the rim, and the ball's knocked out of bounds by Sherman. The Bay Diggers have possession. Up 12 to 9 early in the second quarter. And here is Alexis Corral for Brush. Corral across the timeline, back out to Krejci on the left wing to Langford. Penetrates left baseline all the way, banks and scores. An excellent move there for Keeley Langford. That was beautiful. She's got four of the B Diggers, lead by five, 14 to 9. 5.37 to go, second quarter. Miller into the front court, guarded by Rule on the high right. Back near the timeline to Carvajal. Swings it on the outside left. Just into the game is Elise Ortiz at the top for Miller. Swings it right corner for Rudd. Down low for Carvajal. She puts up a shot off the front of the rim, but there's a foul. And that'll be two free throws, and Keeley Langford is going to commit her second. And again, Saturday for the boys' game at Liberty Common. I'll be there in Fort Collins. No visiting or home fans allowed, but... All NFHS Network shows is the video. There's no announcer there, but you can try to sync our audio broadcast with a video. And I know that uh, it's been done in Fort Morgan with broadcasts on the NFHS Network that don't have any audio whatsoever. And the first free throw is no good by Carvajal. Second free throw upcoming. With the B-Diggers up 14-9. to nine. The lefty free throw is around and in and out. And the ball is loose, and it's still loose. And Kenzie Krejci grabs it out of the air. Krejci into the front court in the paint all the way. Throws it off the bottom of the window, but she traveled. Turnover number seven for the B-Diggers. Neither team is really playing effectively on offense. As evidenced by turnovers, and there's a 30-second timeout. B&B Appliance and Repair from refrigerators to vacuums and everything in between. They have what you're looking for needed too. That is B&B Appliance and Repair.
Again, the Brush Boys are playing home against Weld Central. We'll have an update of that game as they go to 6-0 and with a victory tonight. And they're playing three games in three days because they have Sterling tomorrow. So we will have the Sterling game tomorrow with the Brush Boys at 7 o'clock on 10-10. And then, of course, Saturday at 7 o'clock in Fort Collins against Liberty Common. Backcourt pass is taken by Sherman. Now here's Carvajal into the front court. Carvajal just across the timeline. Swings it left side for Jordan Rudd. Rudd bounce pass to the top for Miller. Miller's guarded by Rule. Kicks it back out near midcourt to Rudd. Slow movement by this Valley offense. Free throw line extended for Miller. Swings it right side. Now that's Ortiz. Ortiz against Carly Tatalini. Dribbles right baseline. Puts up a runner off the side of the backboard. And then Brooke Rule wrestles the ball away. And is that a tie-up? No, I think it's a Valley foul. And that fouls on Ortiz. That'll be the 16th foul. Ortiz with her first. The Bay Diggers looking to break this thing open up by five. Just that neither team has been able to execute offensively. Krejci on the high left. Jump pass inside to Rule. Rule dribbles and then she traveled. Unofficially turnover number eight for the Bee Diggers. Backcourt pressure being applied. In the backcourt, that's Hallie Sherman. Back out to Miller. Cross at a timeline is Carvajal. Carvajal with 4.19 to go second quarter. 14-9 Valley. At the top here is Bailey Miller. Into the lane. All the way. Had it stripped and then banks and misses. Off to the left and Brooke Roy is the rebound. And that's a foul. That's a reach foul there by Carvajal. And the V-Diggers come the other way. 17 foul. And to the line will be the senior, Brooke Rule. Looking to extend the lead. The front end of the one and one. And the free throw by Rule is up, and that is perfect. The Bee Diggers now lead by six, 15 to nine. And Brush is on a nine to one run. Second free throw is up and in. Brush 16, Valley 9, approaching the four-minute mark. Here is Carvajal across the timeline for Valley, spinning near the top. Picked up by Carly Tatalini. Swings it left side for Rudd against Brooke Rule behind the three-point line. Bounce pass, free throw line extended for Hallie Sherman. Sherman against Krejci. Can't get rid of the ball. Now does to her right to Bailey Miller. And then the pass inside is off the hands of Rudd and out of bounds. And Valley with another turnover. Only their second of the quarter, though. But they have 12 turnovers in the game. That's the mid-quarter mask timeout. With Brush up 16 to 9, 348 to go before the break. The B Diggers led 10 to 8 after one. And they've outscored Valley 6 to 1 in the quarter. But I'm sure head coach Anthony Wilson would like his team to look sharper on offense. They're certainly playing effective on the defensive end. He said his goal the other night against Strasburg was to shut out Strasburg in the first quarter, and they led that game 23-5 to after the opening eight minutes. And here comes Kenzie Krejci, along with Brooke Rule out there with Alexis Corral, Emma Stone, and Carly Tatalini. Only two substitutions so far in this game for Valley, wearing the home whites, the Bee Diggers and their road maroons. On the high left with the basketballs, Krejci straight away for Carly Tatalini. Tatalini dribbles to her right, right of the lane, right corner, Corral penetrates right baseline, her runner's an air ball, and we got a whistle, and that's a foul as Corral went to the floor. Corral was fouled on the follow-through by Ortiz. That's going to be her second foul. Alexis Corral to shoot a deuce. The bead digger still on this 9-1 to run. The free throw's up and in. Make it an 11, it was 10 to 1 run, now 11 to 1. And brushes up by 8. Savolt and Michaela Kissler are back in for Valley. And the second free throw is upcoming for Alexis Corral. Corral spins, bends, shoots, and connects. And the Bee Diggers lead 18 to 9. Three and a half to go before the break. In the backcourt, there's the lob to Kissler. Kissler feeds it front court to Savolt. Body contact, no whistle. In the right corner, Savolt's going to have to spin it back out and does. 
Over to Ortiz, now to Marcella Carvajal. Carvajal jump pass near the top, and it's through the hands of Sherman, and it's taken away by Brooke Rule. Rule all the way is fouled as she misses, and she'll go to the line. Boy, Valley's getting themselves in trouble foul-wise. Hallie Sherman has committed her second This run continues for Brush. It's a 12 to 1 run, and it's still 12 to 1. She misses in and out. Second free throw's upcoming. The Bee Diggers can go up by double digits with a made free throw. Bailey Miller about to check in for Sherman. That one's up, and that one is in. Brooke Rule has five points all in the quarter, and Brush is up 19 to 9. And here comes Kinsey Grower. Into the game for Brush, replacing Brooke Rule. In the backcourt, there's the pass over to Michaela Kissler, crossing the timeline to Carvajal. Carvajal against Tatalini. Near the top, picks up the dribble, looking, lobs it over to Kissler at the free throw line. Kissler back out to Bailey Miller. Miller against Corral, under three minutes to go. First half, Brush 19, Valley 9. Carvajal on the left wing to Ortiz, guarded by Stone. Down low for Carvajal. Turns, banks, and misses. Got nothing but glass. Kinsey Grower with a rebound for Brush. The Bee Diggers up by 10. Here's Tatalini straight away. Left wing for Krejci. Gets a pick. And that's going to be an illegal screen. That will be an illegal screen and an offensive foul. And we're going the other way. No free throw there. It's a player control foul. And that was on Carly Tatalini. And here's Savolt. Savolt on the outside left to Carvajal, guarded by Grauer. B-Diggers don't want to reach here. Both teams have committed 19 fouls. Here's the bounce pass over to Miller. Miller, right baseline. And then that ball is taken away by Emma Stone. Brush the other way. Stone is going to put it up and miss it with a left-handed shot. And it's taken away by Michaela Kissler. Kissler on the outlet to Savolt. 2.13 to go second quarter. Elise Ortiz, right baseline, has the shot blocked by Stone. And Alexis Corral has it. No pump fake whatsoever. And Emma Stone blocked that easily. Bounce pass to Grauer. Right wing 15-footer is off the lip of the rim. And on the one hop there is Marcella Carvajal with a board for Valley. Still 19-9. A minute 53 to go. Corral's got to be careful in the backcourt not to commit the foul. Front court pass to Savolt. Savolt bounce pass. Free throw line extended for Kistler. Guarded by Krejci. Looking down low. Kicks it back out to Miller. Miller against Tatalini. Entry pass is knocked away by Emma Stone. Emma Stone with a three-on-one. Stone all the way. Banks and scores. Emma Stone waited for the defender to go by. And the beat diggers are on a 15-to-1 run. And lead 21-9, to a minute 26 to go. Second quarter, lob in the front court taken by Ortiz on the high right. Could have taken a three. He's not going to do so. Kicks it back out to Kistler. Now near the timeline, Jordan Savolt. Will call out the play for Valley. Left-handed dribble, lob down low, Carvajal. Banks scores in a foul. Carvajal to the line, and that stops the 15-1 run. And the foul, I believe, was committed by Kenzie Kreich, which would be her second. Should say 21-11 on the board. No, they're going to say Corral instead. Check that. Corral with a foul. And one free throw here for Carvajal, but the B-Diggers did score 15 of 16 points before that bucket by Carvajal, and the free throw is in. 21 to 12, with 71 seconds to go in the opening half. Krejci to Emma Stone, left-handed dribble into the front court at the top. Met over there by Bailey Miller. Left wing pass to Krejci in the paint. She kicks it back out to Rule. Rule on the left wing to Krejci, gets a pick from Rule. Down low for Rule, puts it up and partially blocked. And Michaela Kissler is able to grab it for Valley. On the outlet, here is Savolt, now to Ortiz. 46 seconds to go, second quarter. At the top for Kissler against Krejci. Lobs it down low for Carvajal. She's trapped over there by a couple of bead diggers. And it's a foul on Brush. That will be a foul. And the foul is committed by Carly Tatalini, her second. Double bonus situation. For Marcella Carvajal. 
The left-handed free throw is coming up by Carvajal. That is up and in. Valley has scored the last four points of the game. Tatalini is out. It's Grower, Stone, Rule, Krejci, and Corral for Brush. 21 to 13. Second free throw is a round and good. And the Brush lead was at 12. Now it's down to seven. Here's the pass in the front court. Stone penetrates left baseline. Cut off. Kicks it back out to Krejci. Krejci with a left-handed dribble. Back out to Rule. 31 seconds to go in the opening half. Rule left wing to Stone. Penetrates left baseline. Cut off over there. Jump pass to Krejci. Straight away for Rule. Takes the three and makes the three. Brooke Rule has eight points in the quarter. And the lead is now 10 for Brush. 24 to 14. Jump pass at the top there for Savolt on the outside right to Ortiz. Ten seconds to go. Brooke Rule is right there. Bounce pass to Miller with six seconds. And she's got a long way until she gets off a shot. Now to Savolt with two. With one, Savolt puts up a runner off the glass. No good. And that is the end of the opening half. With the score. The Brush Bee Diggers, 24. And the Valley Vikings, 14. It's a three-minute break on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back with you. Let's head to the second half here. The Beat Diggers lead 24 to 14. It is Cashlin Tatalini, Carly Tatalini, Alexis Corral, Kenzie Krejci, and Brooke Rule for Brush. And I'm sure the same starting five for Valley. They made a couple of substitutions, and that was it. And it would be Jordan Savolt, Hallie Sherman, Jordan Rudd, Michaela Kissler, and Marcella Carvajal. And those are the five out there for the Vikings. They'll have the basketball to begin the third quarter. And again, the bead digger defense has been the key in this game. Forcing 15 unofficial turnovers in the opening half. Rudd to throw it in, and the backcourt is taken by Savolt. Savolt at the top, met by Cash and Tatalini. Bounce pass in the high right for Carvajal. Swings it at the top for Kissler. Left side for Savolt against Cashland. Lob down low, and the shot is up and missed by Carvajal. She goes back up, and she misses again. She's got it again, and Carvajal is fouled and scores. Nope. Yep, they're going to count it. They are going to count it. The bead diggers didn't block out at all. And the foul's on Cashland Tatalini. That's going to be her third, and here comes Bailey Link. Carvajal leads the Vikings with seven points. And the free throw is up and short, and Brooke Rule grabs the brush rebound. That's her second. Here's Krejci, long pass towards Link off her right hand out of bounds. That was just forced. B-Diggers have to be patient. No need to force the issue. Up by eight. In the early going in the second half. Backcourt pass to Savolt. Picked up by Rule in the backcourt. And then a three-hop pass to Carvajal. Lob cross court, front court to Savolt. She's double teamed. Tries to dribble out of it and does with the left hand. Back left baseline. Then she stripped beautifully by Kenzie Krejci. Here comes Brush. And then the pass by Tatalini is intercepted. Yeah, I don't know why the B-Diggers are forcing the issue. They don't need to. There's the lob backcourt to Rudd. Rudd jump pass is blocked and intercepted by Corral. It was nice play by Brooke Rule. Boy, this is rough to begin the second half. Kenzie Krejci takes the three, and that's going to be an illegal screen. That's an illegal screen on Corral. And Brush has committed three turnovers. Boy, both teams just not uh, looking good in the first minute of the second half. This is almost an extension of what happened in the opening half where you just had some rather shoddy type of basketball and neither team in rhythm, but Brush does have an eight-point lead. 24 to 16, uh, 16, 655 to go. Bank of Colorado is the only bank dedicated to help you make the most of living in Colorado, not just a bank in Colorado. They're Bank of Colorado, proud supporter of local sports and academics. And Valley to throw it in, in the backcourt. There is Rudd to Savold back to Rudd underneath her own basket. Now to Carvajal. They spread it out. Still not across midcourt. Savold, boy, they still they got to get it across and do it at the top to Kissler. 
Now towards the timeline with a right-handed dribble, Savolt on the right wing to Carvajal, the chest pass. Guarded by Bailey Link. Now straight away, here's Michaela Kistler with six and a half to go. This is methodical basketball right now for Valley. Carvajal lobs at free throw line, extended, intercepted by Brooke Roll. She's going to bank and score. No, she missed it. Oh, man, an easy layup, and she blew the layup. And the rebound is pulled away by Carvajal. Here she comes the other way. Now to Jordan Rudd, the handoff to Savolt. The Beedigers could have gone up by 10 there. Carvajal straight away, faking the three. Savolt looked like a travel, no whistle, not a Carvajal high right. Holding the ball up high. Back out to Hallie Sherman, guarded by Corral. Baseball pass right side, Carvajal penetrates, banks and scores. Right by Bailey Lincoln, Carvajal's got nine points in the game. Valley's to within six. 24 to 18, Corral in the lane, jump pass to Link. Link dribbles to her right, all the way, banks and scores. Bailey Link scored, it didn't look pretty, but she doesn't care, it goes in. Brush 26, Valley 18, five and a half to go, third quarter. And a trap there in the front court. Nice play there by Cash and Tatalini, but Carvajal goes down. That means it's going to be a brush foul on Brooke Rule. Her first. And by the way, they are requiring me to wear a mask during the broadcast here, so if I sound a little bit off, even though I'm trying to uncover a part of it, so the only thing that comes through is my mouth and not some cloth. Lob in the backcourt to Savolt, guarded by Tatalini. Tatalini trying to prevent Savolt from passing that ball but spins it in the front court on the bounce to Jordan Rudd. Rudd against Brooke Rule on the high right. Picks up the dribble. Back out to Savolt with a left-handed dribble against Cash on Tatalini. Cross-court pass to Carvajal. Holding the ball up high. Back out to Sherman. Sherman against Alexis Corral. Lobs it right side for Savolt against Tatalini. Down low Carvajal and that's going to be a foul on Bailey Link. Lots of contact there and Link has committed her third. Even five minutes to go in the third, 26-18. The B-Diggers lead the Vikings. Jordan Rudd lobs it. It's going to be poked away by Corral. It's loose. And then Bailey Link, I think, had it. She must have been fouled. I think she was. Fouled by Carvajal. And it's Valley's 19th turnover. Carvajal with her second foul. Alexis Corral. On the high left to Tatalini, takes a long three, and that's off the back of the rim. And a nice long rebound by Carvajal. That's already her eighth. Carvajal trapped on the outside left. Jump pass to Kistler, lobbed down low. Sherman's wide open, and she scores off the glass. Hallie Sherman unimpeded. The lead is down to six, 26 to 20, and then Krejci throws the ball away. 14 turnovers for Brush. Valley can make this a four-point game. Carvajal, left of the lane, back out to Savolt. 4.18 to go, and then a strip by Rule now. She's got to score easily here, and she will with a left hand. A nice steal by Brooke Rule. Nobody near her. She's got 10 in the game. Brush 28, Valley 20. Next whistle will be the mid-quarter timeout. The mass timeout on the outside right is Rudd. Swings it at the top for Savolt, guarded by Rule. Left-handed dribble. On the left side, the bounce pass. Carvajal down low, Savolt. She banks and scores. Beautiful pass as Savolt was able to put it in. She's got three. The lead is down to six. And there, well, that's going to be a timeout by Brush, but you don't want to waste that timeout. That would have been a mid-quarter timeout anyway. I'm not sure why that timeout is called. You're going to get the mid-mass timeout. And I don't think that, but the B-diggers call it. you got to look at the clock there. Brought to you by Greg Mon at State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, Greg Mon and his team are there to make the insurance world easy for you. 842-4555. Yeah, because I don't think you can do a two-for-one there. Once Brush calls the timeout, I think next whistle would be the mid-quarter mask timeout. Emma Stone, Keely Langford, Kenzie Krejci, Carly Tatalini, and Cashman Tatalini, Jordan Savolt, Michaela Kistler for Valley, Hallie Sherman, Marcella Carvajal, and Jordan Rudd for the Vikings. Three-quarters court. Krejci to throw it in. There's the bounce pass to Tatalini. Cashlin at the head of the three-point circle. Left wing to Carly. Inside the three-point line. Cross-court to Cashlin. Lob right baseline for Stone. 
Kicks it back out. Here's Krejci with a dribble into the paint. Cut off over there. Now to Langford, left corner. Cashlin Tatalini penetrates, puts it up, and partially blocked there by Sherman. A clean block by Hallie Sherman. The Vikings come away with the basketball. 3.19 to go, third quarter. Brush 28, Valley 22. With the basketball, the bounce pass is poked away by Krejci, but taken by Kissler. Swings it back out near the timeline. Here is Jordan Savolt. Left-handed dribble over to Rudd, and then the entry pass is knocked away, but chased down by Kissler. Now here is Marcella Carvajal just eating up time. Bounce pass is taken by Sherman. She's double-teamed. B-Diggers have to watch out. Oh, that's a foul. That's a reach-in by Langford. Yeah, that's a good call. When you reach in like that, they're going to call it. That's the third individual foul by Langford. And fifth team foul. Rudd to throw it in just beyond the timeline. The B-Diggers have led for virtually the entire way. There's the lob to Kissler, just about a few feet away for the inbounds passer. Back near the timeline to Savolt, guarded by Cash and Tatalini. Savolt with a left-handed dribble. No strip there. Bounce pass, free throw line extended for Kissler against Kenzie Krejci. Kicks it back out to Sherman. Sherman, baseball pass to her right to Savolt, picked up by Tatalini. That's Cashlin. Savolt maintains the dribble, right corner for Kissler. It's wide open, but she's not going to take the three. Now we'll take the three, and she'll miss the three. And the long rebound is controlled by Cashlin Tatalini. Here come the B-Diggers in the right corner. Langford fakes the shot. She traveled. The B-Diggers have committed 15 turnovers. Stubbs Gas and Oil, outstanding at Stubbs Gas and Oil. Fill up your cooler, gas up your car. Easy and convenient, makes them the only stop you need. Stubbs Gas and Oil, Carvajal pressured by Langford along the side. Dribbles by Langford, and now Keeley will pick her back up. Wanted to make sure she didn't commit the foul. Lob towards the top there to Kissler, now picked up by Sherman. Oh, that's going to be offensive, no whistle. Sherman there is going to lob it, poked away, and now we have a foul on Brush. That's going to be called on Carly Tatalini in front of the Valley bench. That's going to be her third, and the B-Diggers have committed 16 fouls, and Brooke Rule's about to check in. The 10-point halftime lead is down to half a dozen here, and to throw it in is Jordan Rudd on the offensive end. Underneath the basket, Rudd. Oh, she's got Carvajal wide open. She banks and scores. The B-Diggers blew an assignment there. Carvajal with six in the quarter, 11 in the game. 28-24 in favor of Brush with a minute 45 to go in the third quarter. Bounce pass in the right corner. Stone penetrates all the way. Shoots. Air ball on that runner. Michaela Kissler with a basketball. The B-Diggers have been held to four points in the quarter. Kissler the other way at the free throw line for Sherman. Backs it out to Savolt. Savolt picked up by Langford. Bounce pass high right for Carvajal. A minute 22 to go in the third. Straight away for Kissler. Kissler won't take the outside shot. Savolt lob down low. Carvajal, she puts it in off the glass. And Carvajal cannot be stopped in the quarter. Eight in the quarter, 13 in the game. And now we do have a timeout called by head coach Anthony Wilson. The Valley Vikings are on a 6-0 run. And the beat digger lead is down to two. Brought to you by Greg Mona State Farm Insurance. A, a very important timeout for Brush. Well, I guess they I guess they did count that timeout as the mid-quarter timeout called by Coach Wilson. So I guess you're allowed to do so without uh, even though you're sacrificing a timeout. One would have been called either way. B-Digger boys are playing well central, but that game probably will not be over by the time this one is. This would should conclude before that game. With the basketball is Cashlin Tatalini, now to Kenzie Krejci. Krejci, right baseline for Link. Over to Krejci, she banks and scores. What a beautiful feed there. A beautiful give and go. And Kenzie Krejci now has six, and the lead is four, 30-26 brush. 48 seconds to go, third with a basketball. Free throw line extended for Sherman. Double teamed over there. Straight away for Kissler. On the outside right to Carvajal. Picked up by Cashlin Tatalini. Left-handed dribble back at the top for Savolt. 34 seconds to go in the third quarter. 
Rush 30, Valley 26. On the left wing, Rudd back out to Savolt. Swings it at the top now for Carvajal. We're down to 24 seconds remaining. Savolt against Alexis Corral. Left wing for Rudd in the left corner for Sherman. Kicks it back out to Savolt. Down to 17 seconds to go in front of the Valley bench. Bounce pass near the timeline now for Carvajal. Left wing for Savolt. Down to 10 seconds to go. On the outside left, Carvajal with seven. Lobs it back out to Rudd with five. Here's Savolt. Right baseline to Kistler with three. And Kistler with one. They don't get off a shot. Boy, that was awful by Valley offensively. That was not good by Valley. The Bee Diggers take a four-point lead into the fourth quarter. It's brush 30. And the Valley Vikings 26 on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. And there's a kicking violation to begin the fourth quarter. I'm John Beltran. This is 10-10 KSIR, Brush Fort Morgan. Just after the top of the hour here from Gilcrest, Brush 30, Valley 26. B-Diggers with an excellent defensive stand there on the final minute plus. Valley didn't get off a shot. Lob on the outside right to Corral out there with Bailey Link, Carly Tatalini, Cashlin Tatalini, and Kenzie Krage. Carly left baseline, cut off over there. The Krage three is in and out. And the ball is tipped around, and it's into the hands of Hallie Sherman of Valley. That's her sixth rebound. And the B-Diggers have committed 16 fouls. They have to be careful here in the fourth quarter. Straight away, Savolt against Alexis Corral. Valley only has one foul in this second half. In the left corner, Sherman back out to Savolt in front of the Valley bench. Picked up by Corral. Long chest pass cross court to Carvajal. Now back out cross court. Savolt inside the three-point line. In and out with a miss. But the rebound to Bailey Miller. And the ball is loose. Miller picks it up. She throws it off the glass and it goes back up and scores. Second effort there by Miller. The B-Digger lead is down to two. They throw it away in the front court. There's a tie-up. And possession, Arrow Valley. And now Valley can tie the game or take the lead. With the B-Diggers up 30-28. to 28. And now we'll have a substitution. Keeley Langford is in for Cashlin Tatalini. And Brush is led almost the whole way. And they had a 12-point lead in the first half. Carvajal over to Savolt. Savolt with a three-on-three three all the way. Banks and scores. To the right of the basket. Nobody picked her up. We're tied at 30. 6.43 to go in the game. Here's Cashlin Tatalini. Check that. That's Carly. Back out to Krejci. Krejci holding the ball on her left hip. Krejci swings it left side for Corral. Corral left baseline for Langford. Langford looking. Lob down low for Link. Has the shot partially blocked. Gets it back. And then she's fouled as she misses. That looked like it was all ball. But she's going to go to the line. Might have been some body contact. Yep, there was. Carvajal commits her third. Bailey Link to give the Bee Diggers the lead with a made free throw. And does not. It's off the back of the rim. Second free throws upcoming. 6.28 to go. Brush's 12-point lead has disappeared. That free throws up, and she back rimmed that. But Langford with a rebound, put back, and she missed it. Oh, Keeley with a good look. And the other number 10. The rebound is grabbed by Sherman all the way. Savolt, she banks, and she scores. It's like she's doing the drill all by herself. To the right of the basket, Valley's in a lead for the first time since the opening quarter. It's 32-30. to 6.08 to go in the game. Langford on the right baseline. Keeley Langford looking, lobs it inside, and banking and scoring as Bailey Link. Beautiful pass there from Langford. And Link now with four. We're tied at 32. 5.53 to go from Gilcrest. On the high right, here's Carvajal dribbling right baseline. Cut off by Corral. Here is a long shot, and that's a brick by Jordan Rudd from 16. And the rebound is controlled over there by Bailey Link. The B-Diggers come the other way. Here is Kenzie Krejci, free throw line extended. Right wing, Carly Tatalini triple is off the back of the rim. And Bailey Link had the rebound, picked up by Corral. She's fouled as she misses. Corral got it off the hop. And Corral to the line. Bailey Miller commits the foul for Valley. Her second Alexis Corral for Brush. 
And the free throw is good, boy. It just spun in. Carly is out. Cashlin is in. Brooke Rule is back into the game. And Kenzie Kreich will take a breather. Brush 33, Valley 32. Five and a half to go from Gilcrest. A huge game for both teams. Second free throw is up. And that's off to the right. Oh, over and back. Why are you doing that? Bailey Link went over the back. That's the 17th foul. Bailey Miller to the line. Oh, boy. You're not going to get that rebound. That's going to be her fourth. One and one situation. Yeah, Bailey Miller had position, but I think uh, obviously Link thought she could maybe tip it from behind and maybe do something with that basketball. The free throw is in and out. Alexis Corral has the rebound for Brush. The B-Diggers retain a one-point lead, 33-32. 5.20 to go in the game. Corral straight away. Right wing chest pass to Rule. Right baseline to Langford. Langford trying to get out of traffic. Kicks it straight up to Corral. Left wing for Rule on the chest pass. Jump pass inside. That's a force there out of bounds intended for Langford. But that's, uh, again, another force there. And the B-Diggers have committed 17 unofficially. And Emma Stone is in for Alexis Corral with 5.08 to go in the game. Backcourt pressure being applied. Overhead pass is taken by Hallie Sherman. Still in the backcourt, and there's a foul. Going for the steal was Cashlin Tatalini. On the back end of the play there, fouling Jordan Rudd. Cashlin has committed her fourth. And Jordan Rudd's free throw is up, and that is a round and good. Rudd has only scored three points in the game, but we're tied at 33. 33. Second free throw upcoming. She spins, she shoots, and connects. Valley 34, Brush 33, five minutes to go in the game. Brooke rules straight away, chest pass, right wing to Langford. Keeley bounce pass, right corner for Link. Penetrates, right baseline, spins, bounce pass to Stone. Shot is up, and that's short. And Bailey Link tied up by Savolt and possession arrow Brush. The B-Diggers retain possession with 4.49 to go, trailing by a point. And Brooke Rule to throw it in. In the right corner to Langford. Check that, that's Tatalini, now to Langford on the right wing. Straight away, here's Link. Wide open three. She'll take it and she'll miss it off the back of the rim. And Jordan Savolt has the rebound for Valley. Savolt pressured by Rule, nearly stripped, couldn't get it. Bounce pass in the backcourt to Carvajal. Lob in the front court now to Rudd. Straight away, here's Savolt. Jump pass inside over the left hand of Bailey Mitter out of bounds. First turnover by Valley in the quarter. 21st in the game. Carly Tatalini, Alexis Corral, and Kenzie Kreitzer back in with Valley up 34 33. The Big Diggers at one point led 21 9. Kreitz for Brush. At the top, met by Carvajal. Chest pass, right wing to Rule. Bounce pass in the right corner for Stone. Inside for Rule. Reverse layup is short. And the ball is loose and Rule is on the floor. And if that's a tie-up, possession arrow Valley. It'll be Valley basketball. Still not a mid-mass quarter timeout. We're over the four-minute mark. It's when it's under the four-minute mark that we take the timeout. And to trigger it in is going to be Jordan Rudd. Lobs it. Back in the backcourt to Sherman. Sherman back out to Rudd. Unimpeded. At her own free throw line. Rudd, left-handed dribble on the high left against Brooke Rule. Kicks it. Well, I don't know where she was kicking it. Kenzie Krejci intercepts the pass. Krejci has got a three on two. Krejci all the way down low for Stone. Offensive foul. Yep, it is. Krejci needed to get rid of that ball much earlier. Yeah, she got rid of the ball late. And commits the offensive foul. The B-Diggers have 18 turnovers in the game. And... We have a mid-mass quarter timeout, 3.53 to go. And Brush has scored only nine points in the entire half. They had 24 by halftime. And then, let's see, in the third quarter, 
They scored just six. Yeah, they were outscored in the quarter, 12 to six. We'll reset the lineups now. Carly Tatalini, Brooke Rule, Emma Stone, Kenzie Krejci, and Alexis Corral for Brush. Michaela Kissler, Hallie Sherman, Marcella Carvajal. And we'll check the other two. Jordan Rudd to throw it in. Out there with Jordan Savolt. Rudd to throw it in. Oh, soccer pass in the backcourt taken by Sherman. Now back out to Savolt. Still in the backcourt. Guarded by Corral. Maintains the left-handed dribble. Crosses midcourt. Jump pass to Carvajal in front of the Valley bench on the high left. Right-handed dribble towards the top of the three-point circle. 3.38 to go in the game. Valley 34, brush 33. At the top, nearly picked off by Krejci, taken away by Kissler. Lobs it off the right hand of Sherman, chased down near midcourt by Carvajal, fouled by Stone. Emma Stone commits her second double bonus here for Valley. And two free throws coming up here for Carvajal. The left-handed free throw is up and off the back of the rim. Second free throw is upcoming. Carvajal's got 13 points, eight of those in the third quarter. The free throw is good. And the lead is two for the Vikings, 35-33. Kenzie Krejci the other way for Brush. On the left side to Rule, holding the ball up high. Brooke Rule looking. At the top for Krejci. Swings it down low for Rule, but she's double teamed. Turns, bangs, and scores. I don't know how she made that one. But what a beautiful athletic move by Brooke Rule. To the left of the basket. We're tied at 35. Pressure in the backcourt. And Brooke Rule wrestles it away. Down low for Tatalini. And she banks it in. Carly Tatalini scores. And that was all Brooke Rule there. The Bay Diggers up 37-35. And the ball is knocked away in the backcourt. And I think it went out of bounds off Carvajal. A nice defensive play, and we're going to have a technical on Carvajal. Oh, that's going to give the B-Diggers two free throws and the ball with 2.54 to go in the game. And in a span of 10 seconds, the game changed like that. Brooke Rule will shoot two. And the free throw is up, and that's perfect. Brooke Rule now with 13 points. Second free throw is off to the left, but the Bee Diggers are in a 5 to nothing run and lead 38-35, and the ball at midcourt. Kenzie Krejci to throw it in. Krejci will bounce it into Corral. Bee Diggers don't need to force anything up by three. On the high right to Tatalini. Bounce pass in the right corner for Stone. Takes a left-handed dribble. Kicks it back out to Krejci. That's a traveling violation on Kenzie Krejci. Took off of the basketball before dribbling. Turnover number 19. Valley's got 22. The Vikings can tie it with a triple. Jordan Rudd along the side to throw it in. Front court pass is too strong. And Alexis Corral chases it down for Brush. 23rd turnover on the high right. Here's Krejci straight away to Corral. Down to 2.33 to go in the game. Brush 38, Valley 35. Krejci on the high right, back out to Stone on the left wing to Corral behind the three-point line. Bounce pass, free throw line extended for Tatalini. Left-handed dribble, left corner, rule three is an air ball. And taken away by Sherman, her eighth rebound. Sherman against Corral. Now to Savolt in the front court with 2.11 remaining. Savolt on the outside left. Valley, by the way, has 14 fouls, so if they're still down... And they're going to have to start fouling Stephanie Mendoza into the game for the first time. Under two minutes to go from Gilcrest. Here's Jordan Rudd. Free throw line extended. Pass inside. Intercepted by Krejci. And then Emma Stone has it. And now we have a timeout. Full timeout. Called by head coach Anthony Wilson. 152 to go in the game. It's brush 38. Valley 35 on 10-10 KSIR. And the Eastern Plains Sports Network. All right, the Bee Diggers have the ball. 38-35, a minute 52 to go in the game. They lead the Valley Vikings here in Gilcrest. Corral with the basketball just beyond midcourt. Bounce pass on the high right to Brooke Rule. 
Roll against Jordan Rod. Baseball pass at the top now for Krejci. Bead diggers do not need to shoot. 14 fouls for Valley, so they're nowhere close to getting the bead diggers in the bonus here. Corral with a right-handed dribble. Dribbles by Kistler, then puts up a runner off the glass and in! Corral from about 10 feet away. That's a huge bucket. The bead diggers are up by two possessions, and then the ball is out of bounds along the side. Hallie Sherman could not control it, and Valley is coming apart here. And Brush, all of a sudden, is on a 7 to nothing run. And they're up by 5, a minute 24 to go. Crates to throw it in. Bounce pass near midcourt to Brooke Rule. Swings it over to Carly Tatalini. Then she is stripped away. The ball is loose in the floor and picked up by Kistler. And now what do we have? A traveling violation on Kistler. Wow. She couldn't get rid of it. And, well, actually, it's an offensive foul. She shifted the feet, but the foul was called. It's still a turnover against Valley. 74 seconds to go in the game. Crates to throw it in. In the corner for Brooke Rule. Nearly stepped on the end line. That was close. Over to Corral. Right side to Stone. Down to 66 seconds to go. Crates left-handed dribble. Picks up the dribble. Near the top. Has to get rid of it. Underhands the ball to Corral. Corral dribbles into the paint. Bounce pass inside. Intended for Tatalini. Intercepted by Marcella Carvajal. Carvajal the other way. Is going to kick it. Left corner. Shot is up. And that's missed by Sabolt. And the rebound and put back is up. And no good by Sherman. And then Kistler has it along the right baseline. Fouled by Emma Stone. Stone with her third. And a double bonus situation. The bead digger still up by five. Michaela Kistler, the leading scorer this season for Valley, has nothing in the game. No points so far. Kistler bounces. Shoots and connects. Her first point of the game. Corral is out and Cashlin Tatalini is back in. The Bay Diggers lead 40 to 36, 43.4 to go in the game. Second free throw is up and off the back of the rim and in. It took that high bounce and it went through. And the Vikings call a full timeout. We'll keep it right here. 43.4 seconds to go. Brush 40 and Valley 37. And this game for Brush is going to come down to free throw shooting. Valley still has to commit two fouls to get the bead diggers to the line for a single bonus. Yeah, the bead diggers went on a 7-0 run when they fell behind. And they've got a shot to pull this off. Although certainly not their best performance, but sometimes you have to get wins the ugly way. We'll reset the B-Digger lineup. Up by three with the ball. A full timeout was called by Valley. Cashlin, Tatalini, Brooke Rule, Carly Tatalini, Emma Stone, and Kenzie Krejci. Underneath the basket in the backcourt. The Bee Diggers to throw it in. Krejci over to Cashlin Tatalini. Back out to Krejci. Now to Tatalini. She will cross midcourt. On the outside left to Carly. Back out to Cashlin. They're going to have to foul twice. Here's Krejci inside the rule. Banks and she misses. But she was fouled from behind. A gorgeous pass from Krejci to Brooke Rule. And to the line is Brooke Rule. And she was fouled by Jordan Savolter, second. You make one free throw, you're up by two possessions. That one is up, and that one is perfect. Rule has got 14 points in the game. The Bee Diggers lead 41 37. Second free throw, yes. 42 37. Savold comes the other way. Valley needs a bucket or they're not going to come back in this game. Carvajal spins on the outside left. 22 seconds to go. In the left corner for Sherman. Down to 19. Kistler bobbles it. Picks it up. Puts up a wild shot and misses straight away. And the rebound to Emma Stone. Emma Stone's going to go all the way. Now she's going to back it out. That's a smart play. And now Krejci is fouled. 
That's going to be the 17 foul, but the Bee Diggers are going to win this game. Brush has got this game up by five with 9.6 seconds to go. And Kenzie Krejci with a one and one. Krejci bounces, shoots, scores. Brush 43, Valley 37. Second free throw coming up for Krejci. And the Bee Diggers really don't have to pressure in the backcourt. They don't want to commit a foul. That one's up. And that one is in and out. And Stone nearly had the rebound. Take it away by Kissler. No need to pressure here. In the front court, Savolt with three. Carvajal with two. Lob inside. And the shot is up and in. But that's going to be it. Jordan Rudd scores. But too little, too late. And the Brush Bee Diggers win the game by a score of 43 to 39. We'll take a short break. And we'll wrap up the game after this. The Bee Diggers to move to 5-2. and two. You are listening to 1010 KSIR. KSIR.com in the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The Bee Diggers defeat the Valley Vikings tonight by a score of 43-39. to 39. As we welcome you to the Bee Digger Post Game Show, it's brought to you by Morgan Community College. There to make your dreams become a reality for both traditional and non-traditional students. Check them out at morgancc.edu. We'll get to the numbers here momentarily. We're joined by head coach Anthony Wilson. Coach, you're up by 12 points in the opening half, but wow. I mean, that game, uh, would you call that on both sides? Even though you came out with a victory, and sometimes they got to be ugly, but I'm sure there's things to work on because that was very – it was sloppy on both sides, really. Uh, it was – it was tough to watch tonight, yeah. which is not something I've been accustomed to uh, being here. And you could tell that as as a team and probably as a staff, we overlooked Valley a little bit. And we can't, we can't afford to do that. We aren't a good enough basketball team to overlook anybody and not come out ready to play. And you could tell that there wasn't the mental focus there. And that started in the first quarter when – we were down eight to two or eight to four, whatever it was, and we just didn't come out ready to play. And they did. In credit to them, they adjusted to the officiating and played hard basketball and played within the rules. And according to these refs, we did not in the second half. We got we got into some foul trouble early in the first half and got into foul foul trouble again in the second half. And it, it happens and it hurts tonight not having Braylon Rule, our second leading scorer. And and especially on a night when no one's shooting the ball well at all, it, it hurts to not have someone else to go to as well. Yeah, he had a 15-1 to one run and it looked like, okay, now brush in control 21-9 to nine, as I mentioned. and But you have a 10-point lead at halftime. Anything you told the team at halftime, was it a normal uh, halftime interaction knowing at that point you were in control of the game, but obviously hadn't won the game and had to play, uh, well, just good enough in the second half, even though Valley would outscore Brush and you still won the game. Yeah, I, I mean, it was it was a fairly normal halftime. It was one of those things where we talked about the lack of mental focus to start the game and to end the half and how important it is to make sure that we're in it all the time. And you could tell defensively that we weren't in it tonight. And it it showed, and they took advantage of that, that the play where they run that that. Uh, screen low for the person cutting across we just fell asleep over and over and over and over and over having said that i mean brooke rule made some special plays down the stretch in order to to get that victory and you would think coach that at some point especially on the road even though it's an ugly win it's a blessing in disguise because this it turns into playoff basketball in the final two or three minutes especially when you're down by two or three points absolutely yeah and and there there are there are little things that are fun to see like us ending ending the game on before that last garbage bucket that they got on right. a seven to nothing run and and finishing the game strong where we hadn't played strong all game and 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 again we play extremely physical basketball because in the postseason in Colorado that's what you get and that's what the refs call and when you play that type of basketball in non postseason basketball you tend to get into foul trouble and and that's happening to us but I'm not going to change that because I know what it's like at state last year we got out physical every single possession against Eaton and we're not going to have that this year okay now you got back-to-back games coming up on Friday and Saturday against Sterling and Liberty Common your thoughts on that also knowing that uh, you know, Liberty Commons had a limited number of games, and you got them at home on Saturday and uh, with Sterling on Friday. And Sterling looks like they're a little bit improved from a year ago, and maybe that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, even though if you 
play your game, that should be a brush win. Uh, absolutely. And, and again, I go into every game thinking we're going to sure. win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I think that if we come out and we play our basketball at home, which, again, this year home court advantage for us is huge because we actually have an atmosphere. That's what was tough about tonight is you don't have any atmosphere for the players. And so – it's a drag is really what it is. And so when we get to go home to brush, have our student section there, have a fairly full crowd and people getting rowdy, it, it changes how we play and changes how we approach the game. And so it's going to be nice to have two back-to-back home games that if we play our style of basketball, I think that we have a chance to win. Final thing, you mentioned defensively things have to get better based on what happened tonight, especially in the second half when Valley had a, a few uncontested layups. What do you think about the sharing of the basketball with your team and the rotation uh, throughout the course of the game and trying to actually get open shots? Yeah, I mean, mean, we we could not find our offense tonight in in any way. We would just throw bad pass after bad pass, and then we wouldn't set solid screens. We wouldn't use our screener. We wouldn't hit the open people. We would try to make the hero pass, and that's stuff we talk about in practice every day that we just can't do. We're not good enough. We're not big enough to do those things and come away with wins like we think we should have. So having said that, I guess tomorrow's practice is huge considering the back-to-back games you have coming up. Absolutely, and there's there's a lot that we need to work on. And, and, and again, they – they know that I am not pleased with right. this. It's a win, but uh, again, if we play our basketball and make layups in the first half, we have a 30-point lead going into halftime. Oh, yeah. We missed 8 to 10 layups, not to mention took some poor shots as well. So making sure that we understand our style of basketball and how we have to do that is going to be really important to make sure that we get to where we want to get this season. Hey, Coach, thanks as always for coming up here. Thank you. That's head coach Anthony Wilson of B-Diggers defeat the Valley Vikings on the road tonight, 43-39. to B-Digger postgame show once again brought to you by Morgan Community College. Let's go through the numbers for the visiting bee diggers, led by Brooke Rule with 15.7 for Kenzie Krejci, and then four apiece for Emma Stone, Keeley Langford, Carly Tatalini, and Bailey Link. Three in the game from Alexis Corral and two from Cashlin Tatalini. As for Valley, they got 14 from Marcella Carvajal, eight points from Hallie Sherman, Jordan Savolt with seven, six from Jordan Rudd, and then two from Bailey Miller, and the leading scorer all season, Michaela Kissler. Held a two points. Valley with 27 turnovers. The Bee Diggers with 21 in the game. And doing a quick count on the rebounding totals 27 for Valley. Nine of those by Hallie Sherman. And the Bee Diggers certainly out rebounded in this game. They only had 16. 16 unofficially. A bunch of players with two uh, rebounds. They were all over the boards with several players, but nobody dominated for Brush on the boards. Now the free throw shooting, just doing a quick tab on that as Valley was 9 of 15. Uh, Let's see, in the second half, though, they were, let's see, in the second half, they were 7, yeah, 9 out of 15. They were 5 out of 7 in the second half. The bead diggers in the second half did attempt 10 free throws and made 5, so only 10 out of 18 in the game. So they shot 55% from the line. But the important thing, the bead diggers are now 5 and 2, and the Valley Vikings fall to 5 and 3, as we mentioned, back-to-back games for Brush, and they will be home to the Sterling Tigers on Friday and to Liberty Common on Saturday. Our next game is tomorrow night, the Brush Boys and Sterling against the Tigers. That will start at 7 o'clock, and that'll be on 10-10 KSIR, and then on Friday, Brush Wrestling at Sterling at 6.30, and then on Saturday, we'll have Brush Boys Basketball at Liberty Common, and the Brush Boys did win tonight over Weld Central 68-40, to so they are now 6-0 and on the season. Final score once again tonight, the Brush Lady Bee Diggers get it done, defeating the Valley Vikings 43-39 to on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.